Hello, everyone, and a very, very warm welcome to you to the Moore Conference for 2023. I'm super excited. I hope you are very, very excited today, too. We have amazing topics, and um, I woke up this morning when, when I was thinking I'll give you a very warm welcome, but it was freezing. It was negative two degrees, minus Y. Very, very cold. Uh, my wife uh, called me and she said, uh, we have a problem at home. We are, the windows are frozen. What do I do? They're not opening. And I said, look, get some lukewarm water, put it on the windows, and you know, away you go again. So five minutes later, she sends me a text saying, now we have a bigger problem. The computer is not working. Did you get it? Windows means computer. <laughs> OK. So, it, it usually is the case within Mobility as well. It takes quite a while. Sometimes people laugh two or three days after. Um, but um, that's, uh, I wanted to start this with, uh, with a lighthearted joke. So our industry, our industry is changing a lot. Why are we here? Because our industry is changing massively. Uh, if there was a world championship of change for an industry, we would absolutely, hands down, win that competition. So what happens during this change? Um, you know, many wise women and men have said, change is certain, but growth is what is optional. And at the Moore Conference, at Mobile ADE, we choose growth. We choose the next level, which is the theme of this conference. So for me, I want to help us navigate at mobility, but also as our industry, how do we navigate this change? And how do we get to this next level? I've been told not to press the black button, but the green one's working. Good. So what's changing? I want to talk about the three major mega trends that are impacting our industry. And we, when we talk about the three major megatrends, it's difficult to miss electromobility or the move to electric vehicles, because it's, dr it's dramatically changing our industry. As more and more move towards electric vehicles happen, OEMs are using it as an excuse to go direct to the consumer. They're selling cars on, online slowly, it's happening slowly, but it's happening steadily. More and more cars are being sold online. At the moment, electric cars are going through a period of stagnation. The demand and supply is, is not perfect right now. Demand for electric cars is a little down. But the long-term trend remains firm. The move to electric vehicles will happen and will continue to happen. What impact does that have on an industry? One other example is, because electric vehicles are so expensive at the moment, and there is uncertainty around technology, will the battery technology improve? Currently, I have a range of 300 on my car. Will the range of 1,000 become common? And therefore, my car with 300 kilometer range, will it be worth nothing? These are the kind of anxieties people have. And as a result, many people are choosing to lease cars or to subscribe to electric cars. So there is actually a very close relationship between the rise of electric vehicles and the rise of leasing, and also the rise of subscription. Some of this will take multiple years to play out, but that's the trend that we are seeing. So it's very, very important that Mobile ADE innovates in this area and helps the industry understand this and take us to the next level. The second mega trend that's really important for all of us to, to also um, pay some attention to is um, artificial intelligence. So I really like artificial intelligence, and I must say that because um, the opposite of artificial intelligence, the opposite of artificial is um, real, and the opposite of intelligence is stupid. It's real stupid. And I don't want to be real stupid, so I do like artificial intelligence. Um, but one thing about artificial intelligence is 
you know, let me tell you a story first. So I have a, I have a friend, I have an Indian friend. I was born in India. And this friend has me as a friend, and the second friend is this artificial intelligence bot. That's his friend too. And he was talking to his artificial intelligence bot, and just conversing, not asking a question, and he said, I love samosa. Samosa is an Indian dish. I don't know, do you know what samosa is? Some of you do. Yeah. And straight away, the artificial intelligence bot said, what is that? And my friend started to explain to the artificial intelligence bot, a samosa is an Indian snack. And the artificial intelligence bot stopped my friend and said, no, 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 I know what a samosa is. I was asking you what is love. AI does not understand us. AI is not us. AI is actually not important. We are more important. And the trend to AI is cer certain. How do we use AI is very important for our businesses. So what, what is Mobility E doing? AI thrives when you feed it more data. The more data you feed AI, the more AI learns. It's like a fine vine. The more the, the data, the, the richer the AI. And, and at Mobility E, we have a lot of data. We are number one in Germany. We've existed for 25 years. And therefore, we can really make AI work and w work well for all of you to sell more cars, to match you to the right buyers. So we are investing in AI, and we want to make sure this investment is very fruitful for you. And the last one is the now economy. I call it also the instant gratification economy. Um, we want food delivered at our house instantly. If the food is not delivered in 30 minutes, if it's 35 minutes, we get pretty angry. That's the instant gratification economy. That is also impacting behavior in our industry. An example is um, test drive. C consumers are expecting dealers to, to do home test drives. Bring the car to me and help me do a test drive at home. And more and more of this will be demanded by consumers as the younger people grow up to, uh, to, uh, into, into an age where they want to own cars. Um, leads is a good example. So you get a lead from Mobility E as a dealer. If you don't respond to the lead quickly enough, consumers lose interest. And it's happening more and more now because of the behavior of consumers. So we want to help you navigate all of these three challenges um, at Mobility E. I want to talk a little bit about how we're going to do this. We have a very simple vision, mission, and purpose at Mobility E. And the vision, purpose, and mission are all the same. They're just three words. It's moving mobility together. The middle bit, mobility, is our strategy. And on the next slide, I will talk about our strategy and the investments we are making um, in, in terms of moving to, to this, this future that recognizes some of these challenges in our industry. But in this, on this slide, I want to concentrate on the two words. The first word, moving, and the last word, together. So on moving, I must say, um, moving to us in Mobility E is synonymous to growth. I talked about before, change is certain, growth is optional. Everyone at Mobility E has signed up to growth. It's not optional for us at Mobility E. It's very important for us, it's part of our DNA. And it's important, I'll give you a stat. Um, we did an engagement survey, we do engagement surveys every three months in our company. We did an engagement survey, and one of the questions we asked everyone in Mobility E is, are you proud of working at Mobility E, and would you recommend us as a place to work? 87% of the people said, I'm very proud and I would recommend Mobility E to others. It's very important that we have a workforce that is growing, that is skilled, that is collectively happy and moving towards the right direction because only then, only the happy employees make our customers happy. You are very important to us. But I must say, at a customer conference, employees come first. Because if you don't have happy employees, you cannot have happy customers. So for us, growth means growth of our employees, 
but subsequently and very importantly, growth of value to our customers. That is what moving means to us. Mobility I will cover on the next slide. And I want to take a moment to talk about together, which is very important. I said this at the last more conference. My favorite G German word is zusammen, it's together. But before I get in there, um, you know, I have a family too, and we do a lot of things together. When we are not doing things together, things don't work. I want to ask you, anyone here has a big family, like more than four people, more than three children, four people in your family? How many? Six kids. Six, my God. <laughs> Can anyone top him? Anyone top him? Any more than that? How many? Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. Any, anyone top that? How big is your family, I wonder? Uh, how big is my family? How many people do I have in my family? I have 801 people in my family. <laughs> you know what that is? That's the number of people at Mobility. And these people are working together, Zuzaman. They are working together to improve our products, to serve you better, to serve our customers better. 87% of them are happy working at Mobility and they recommend it as a great place to work. That's what together means. And, and we really focus in our company on this togetherness because none of us can do it alone. These industry challenges are big and we must invest to, um, to combat these challenges together. I want to talk now about the areas of investment. First, I was going to reveal some new products for next year. And then we thought about it and we said, we don't really want our competitors to know the products we're going to release next year. So I'm going to tell you the investment areas. Where are the dollars going? Where are we investing to help our industry, to help um, our car dealers? The first one is investing and strengthening the core. What does that mean? I'm very big on what I call experience, user experience. To me, user experience is not about just a button that you put on a website called Mobility. It's a lot deeper than that. We're not there to advertise cars. We're there to sell cars. And in future, different kinds of transactions on cars, whether it's leasing, financing, subscription, etc. But we are about those transactions that matter to you as dealers. I'll tell you a story, a very quick story. In 2003, it was the first time I bought a new car. I send a lead to one of the dealers through a website in Australia, which is where I was living in 2003. And this dealer chose not to respond to me the first day. I was waiting. Second day went past, no response. Third day went past, no response. I gave up. I sent a lead through another website to another dealer. And this dealer responded to me within one hour. I actually went to the dealer, eventually bought the car. Bit of instant gratification as well. I bought this car, I asked the dealer, I said, so what's the difference? I went to this other dealer, three days, no response. You responded to me within one hour. And the dealer told me, you know, this new website that you've used, they connect to my lead management system, and the lead doesn't go into my email, it goes into the lead management system. The lead management system, after one hour, of no response from the salesperson, escalates it to the manager, and if the manager doesn't respond to the owner of the dealer, there was accountability built in. But you know what? This is not just about running a good dealership. It's also about experience for the consumer. In one case, I ended up buying the car, great experience, five stars. In the other case, three days later, no car was sold, bad experience. And to me, strengthening the core, is about understanding experience, not just colors and buttons. It is colors and buttons too. Orange is really good, by the way. The second one is investing in digital retail. So we've been running uh, an end-to-end -end digital retail system for now quite a while. And it's worked well for many dealers. But it's not a solution that we have scaled to a very large number of dealers. And I'm very conscious 
in mobility of doing something that scales to a much larger number of you, something that a much larger number of you can use. So we as a team are now putting a lot of resources in strengthening optionality around digital retail. So what, is, what does that mean? My belief is more and more of the process will be done online. End-to-end -end process being done online is a small portion of the customers. But there's a large number of customers who are probably doing, want to do one-third of the process online, or half the process online. In some cases, 75% of the process online. There is a car dealer in the US called CarMax. I'm not sure if some of you follow them. And this particular dealer, it's a, they're a publicly listed dealer, so they talk about their results a lot. They have a small number of cars they sell end-to-end -end online. But 60 to 70% of the cars that they sell, they sell on what they call hybrid basis. They, they call it, in the end-to-end -end process, there are four things that go on in terms of selling a car. And if all the four processes are done online, it's an end-to-end -end process. If three are done online, it's hybrid. If it's one is done online, it's hybrid. 70% of the cases, not all four are done online, but at least one process out of four is done online. And I think that is a more accurate picture for us for the next five plus years in terms of how digital retail will work. And that is how we will invest at Mobility E. Ex one example is, forget the four processes. Imagine test drive is one of the things that people do. Should Mobility E help you book test drives online? We will think about things like that. We will think about things like, should, should we allow you to get a trade-in price for a consumer online? We will think about things like online full end-to-end -end finance online. And on that, for example, we've just done a deal with um, the BMW Bank. So if any of you use BMW Bank or want to use BMW Bank, you will be able to integrate your finance solution on mobility. And we will continue to do more and more of this. And this is really what digital retail means for us in a scalable sense. We will do all of these parts online over time. You as a dealer will be able to choose which part you want to offer online. Consumers will be able to choose which part they want to transact online. And the last one, which is investing in data and tech partnership. We believe that Mobility has been an integral part of the German car industry and a marketing part, uh, partner to many of our dealers. But we want to be more than that. We want to help you with data. We want to help you with tech. We, that doesn't mean we will, we will change the business model. That means that we are just becoming a deeper partner of yours. You know, we have more data than anyone else. We have 25 years of data. We're number one. We have more consumers than anyone else at Mobility. All this data we can use effectively, especially with the advent of AI. We can use it more effectively to help you make better decisions to respond to leads faster in, in, in one example, to compare yourself uh, to the best performing dealers and know what the best benchmarks are, what to do to improve your dealership to get to that next level, which is very important at this more conference, the next level. We, we want to invest in this and we want to become your partner because we have that information and we want to share it with you and we will work in 2024 to release some products that will help you in this regard. I don't want to give specific examples because I don't want our competitors to copy us, but good things are coming your way. Okay, so this is the last slide, but there is one more thing. Are launching e-bikes in 2024. So just a little bit on why we are launching e-bikes. It's part, you know, when I said moving mobility together. Moving and mobility I explained to you in quite detail. Um, sorry, moving and, uh, and together. The mobility part is this part over here where we're investing.
but it's also this part over here. This is also a core part of our future. Um, at the last MORE conference, I socialized with a number of dealers, which I intend to do tonight as well. I hope many of you are staying back, and I really want to uh, get your feedback. And a lot of you gave me feedback around uh, e-bikes, and why don't you have an e-bike offering? Do you know, 25% of Germans today own an e-bike, and 15% more want to own an e-bike. Do you also know you can make awesome gross margin on e-bikes? And I think, Mr. Weber, if you're here, I really want to buy this bike of you. Um, but pro yeah, but let's advertise this first on Mobile, and I'll buy it off Mobile off you. So very exciting, and, and please also talk to Mr. Weber about e-bikes. He's um, he's a pioneer of this, um, and there is a lot of gross margin to be made in in, in this, uh, and a lot less holding cost as well. So we will be supporting your journey in this um, regard. Um, and um, with, with, with that, I want to close this opening presentation. Uh, and I now want to invite my colleague um, and our CPTO, David, who will talk more about, I talked a lot about these investments. You should also know how we work in Mobility E, what kind of company we are, and, and what is our working culture, how do we invest? And David will talk to you more about this. So thank you very much, and welcome again. <laughs>